Alright guys, today I am going to show you how you can run Chrome OS in VirtualBox. If you don't know what VirtualBox is, it's a program that lets you run other operating systems. But this time it's not online. You have to download it. It's complicated, but I'm not going to explain that in this video. So, you want to go to this website, the link will be in the description. And it says, Cloud Ready Virtual Machine Images. Now, if you're going to use VMware, click this one on VirtualBox. But just this time, I'm going to use VirtualBox. So, I already have it downloaded. It's like about one gigabyte. So, if you have one gigabyte available, go ahead. So you should click on it, and then it choose the program VMware. But what I had to do was I had to drag it because it didn't give, it didn't show VMware in the pop-up menu. So what you want to do, make sure it's everything in place. I would recommend changing um, the RAM to three and click Import. And if you don't also have VirtualBox in, um, installed, that's okay. I have the link for that too. So this could take about 20 to 1 minute depending on how fast your computer is. And I will see you when this is done. Oh guys, so it just finished. So what you want to do, it got everything set up for you. So what you want to do is you want to click start. And then you got to wait a bit. Depending on how fast your computer is. So we're waiting for it. Oh, there it goes. Let me move this out the way. So I'm going to put this in... um full screen so you guys can see it better all right so wait for it capture it it's about to say cloud ready that's the boot up screen so you guys haven't done nothing wrong now first time startup take you to the settings menu I'll see you guys when this boots up Okay, guys, so it has booted up. So, if choose wherever you live, if you don't live in the United States. Alright. Then select a keyboard, mine's is yours. Select the network. I'm already. So, don't even mess with this. So click continue, then it should take you to the next step. Please wait. So what it is doing, pretty soon in a second it's going to want you to log into um, Chromium OS. Don't click accept and install. Sign into your Chromebook. So if you was like on a Chromebook, it's the same thing you do. Now, guys, try it anytime. Uh, you still get this doesn't get rid of your operating system. Everything you have, all your files, is still there. So let's click next. Let that load. Okay, password. Okay, so now it's logging in to your fake Chromebook. 
Now, I am still on Windows operating system. Feel free to try this on your parents' computer if they let you. It deletes nothing. It does nothing. Once again, another loading screen. Uh, see you guys when that finish. Uh, guys, so Chromium has loaded. So, like you, it's just like you're on a Chromebook. Call this your Chromebook. This runs like a Chromebook. It basically is pretty much a Chromebook. You got your little, uh, settings bar. About Chromium OS. Runs like a Chromebook. It is a Chromebook. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial review. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.